The Black Sheep MC Thailand Wandering the Paddocks of Australia, Days 1 to 4. G'day, Glav here and welcome back. This is day one of our 15-day Aussie adventure for Rutger, commonly known as the Rock and I. Today, about 540 kilometres to Roma in western Queensland, where we will overnight. We're taking the long route today up through Blackbutt, which will see about two-thirds of the trip not on the highway. We're currently crossing the Wyvernhoe Dam as I speak, which is a very beautiful spot indeed. I must say the Black Sheep MC from Thailand have strayed into foreign pastures. We're heading for the little country town of Blackbutt. There is a very nice little bakery there, which in my humble opinion is one of the best in South East Queensland. I just have to introduce my Belgian friend The Rock to a good old Australian meat pie. This little bit of road we're on is only 60 kilometres per hour speed zone. What a real waste. And as you can see, I'm really only going that fast. Well, maybe just a tad more, but let's keep that a secret. So here we are at the Black Butt Bakery. We left at 8 a.m. this morning. It's currently quarter to 11. We might have an early snack lunch. It's famous this place. Makes the best meat pies in southern Queensland, I reckon. So Rook is having his first Australian meat pie. Mm. How is it, mate? Perfection. Happy days. That's what a biker trip's all about. <laughs> From Blackbutt, the Rock and I are just skirting the highways on these smaller regional roads. They're all pretty cool little roads, these, and we've only come across just a few dead kangaroos, nothing jumping in front of us. Much rather ride these roads than the highways, but we'll be joining back up to the A2, or the Warrigo as it's known, somewhere just after Dolby. having a Bundy I've converted him we're doing it tough the food shocking just look at that cool places really nice Day two and it's 8am heading out of Roma. Heading up to Bar Calden, zero down, 600 kilometres to go. Hello, we're on the road. We're heading due north now. Next several thousand kilometres we'll be just going north. Beautiful day. Not a cloud in the sky anywhere. It's pretty compact, it's pretty hard. It's not giving off much. Mm, might be alright, mightn't get shit all over the bike as I usually do. take him down even though he's a Belgian and show him the tree of knowledge the foundation the start of the Labor Party in Australia it's 
So this is the Labor Party's tree of knowledge, which is uh, Barcaulden, where the Labor Party was founded. It's supposed to represent the struggles for workers' rights. And I must say the Labor Party over the years has done a pretty good job of that. It's just unfortunate they no longer represent the working man in this country. They represent the 40-year-old inner-city bureaucrats and all the minorities, the greenies, etc. It's tough shit these days for the working man, even though most of their funding is still provided from all the unions around Australia. Just shameful their behaviour, shameful. Leaving Barcaldon for Longreach, about 120 kilometres. We're playing tourists today in Longreach, doing the Qantas Founders Museum and the Stockman's Hall of Fame. We might stop at Ilfracombe on the way through to look at the antique machinery. Rock and I are rolling into Ilfracombe, 20 kilometres outside Longreach. Pretty cool little town this one, with a display of old farm machinery. We'll pull up here for a perv and some coffee. The Rock to a bit burnt sausage roll <laughs> for brekkie. Yeehaw, what could be better? Probably a pie. <laughs> this is just some of the display of the antique machinery here. Steam powered tractor. Really good stuff here. Horse drawn grader. This stuff just goes for kilometres, it's just too much to show you. Really cool shit. There's also a uh, bottle museum here. All different types of bottles, glass bottles, and even better, there's a gun display here, cool. And a lot of them. Very cool. Just heading out of Ilfracombe now. All the machinery still, it just goes and goes and goes. Very cool. Very cool indeed. About 20 kilometres to Longreach. The Rock and I are just arriving into Longreach. In the distance on the right hand side you can see the Qantas Museum and shortly we'll be turning to the left into the Stockman's Hall of Fame. If you visit Longreach these are must sees for anyone that doesn't live here. They are simply fantastic. Stockman's Hall of Fame. Should walk back. Hey, there's the Rock Rooker at the Stockman's Hall of Fame in Longreach, Queensland, Australia. <coughs> but Rooker lives now. <laughs> there's a 
pioneers hut, what they used to live in in the outback. Flying from the Royal Flying Doctor's Service. Okay, get everybody. My name is Lockie Costa. I'm a third generation stockman. I'd like to welcome you all here to the Australian Stockman's Hall of Fame and Outback Heritage Centre. Uh, now we've got a beautiful little show lined up here. We're going to. Uh, my head just couldn't find. See, I got a great little family and friends that behind the horse without the horse getting hot or stirred up with the whip. So when we're yarding up and the pressure's on around the yard, he might even cop a bit of a flip down there, a bit of a follow through here and there. I reckon one good dog will do the work of three good men when the work's right on. Now, I haven't seen too much of these dogs since I brought the sheep out. You see, they want to keep bringing the sheep to me. I am enjoying the Qantas Founders Museum. It's very interesting to see the roots of this big airline company. fifteen in the morning on day four. We are just re leaving the little town of Longreach after doing the Stockman's Hall of Fame and the Qantas Museum yesterday. It's cool this morning, I don't know what temperature is, probably fifteen or sixteen. Heading to Mount Isa today, that's about another six hundred and six hundred and fifty kilometers straight up the highway north beautiful day again, not a cloud in the sky, happy days. We're about 50 kilometres north of uh, Longreach, heading Witten's the next little town. And I must say, the five times I've been up here, or how many times, this is probably the greenest I've seen it. I've been through here and it's been just bare dirt. There's a sheep country in here. Sheep. They're hard to actually see in the long grass, something that's rare. Oh, I'm so glad for the farmers up here because they've done it tough. 50 down, about 600 to go. The Rock and I are rolling into the town of Winton. We'll stop for a coffee here it's before 9 o'clock and we've knocked over 180 k's. Still got about 470 to do. We stopped in the town of Winton for a coffee, knocked down about 180 kilometres. Pretty cool little town this, we stayed here before. All the poppies are out for Anzac Day next week. Remembering our fallen. Very cool. We are just rolling into the little township of McKinley, which is famous for crocodile. Crocodile Dundee's Walkabout Creek Pub, which we're going to stop at. And of course, as Australian, I've got to have a Bundy and Coke right there, right then. There you go, is that better? Oh, geez, thanks for that, mate. That's good. 
here we are at the Walkabout Creek Hotel. Good little spot. This is the inside the Walkabout Creek Hotel, famous for the Croc Dundee movie. Got a bit of memorabilia in here from the movie. A oh, cool little spot. Pretty busy today. Last time we were here, we were the only customers in here. So I told Rutka we had to have a Bundy at the Walkabout Creek Hotel. A convertee. <laughs> I should be on Bundaberg Rum's payroll. <laughs> again a mountainous red rock as opposed to open plain paddocks is as famous for Mount Isa mines which is a massive underground copper lead and zinc mine that's, I can't remember when it started but it's a very 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 long time ago